Today, we're driving up to one of my favorite places to go fishing. Are you guys excited? What? Seriously? You know you're excited. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of stream fishing. I can't wait. I'm totally prepared. Got my Yeti, all the fishing gear. Thank you for choosing Starbucks today. What can I get started for you? Grande Americano. Anything else? That's gonna do it, thanks. It's gonna be about a two hour drive and um, in my family, every road trip is inaugurated with Starbucks coffee. Right, babe? Take a potty break? Not really. Is this pretty much how she's been traveling the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. So we're getting pretty close to Markleyville, which is where we're going to be staying and doing a little bit of fishing in that area. Just a little quick stop. Sometimes you just got to pee. All right, here we are, Creekside Lodge in Markleyville, California. All right, well, we just walked into the hotel. We can't go to our room yet, so we're gonna grab some grub before we try some fishing locally. I just heard that they had some huge rains here, so because they had some huge rains, there could be a lot of mud. It could make it very difficult to get some fish. We're gonna see how muddy it is. But we're gonna try a couple places. We're here all day today and a little bit tomorrow. literally just got out of bed and you look beautiful. I don't want to be on camera. You don't want to be on YouTube? No. Are you going to make me promise to not put this on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Did you want to comment on the new hat that you just bought? Well, I like butterflies. Okay, so we do a lot of deep sea fishing and we're dealing with like big thick line and bigger hooks and all kinds of crazy plastic baits. Today we're just using hooks like this small. You can't even see it. Tiny, we can see tiny it. little hook. I can barely, barely thread that through this hook. And then we're using little split shots about 10 inches up. We're gonna be fishing with salmon eggs. But I wanna know, what are you drinking? I bought it because it has a fish on it and I figured it'd be good luck. <laughs> You love your truck? I love my truck. <laughs> she is pretty. She's so pretty. We are gonna go try to find out where the heck we're supposed to fish. We hear the water. Up here, if there's a stream, there's trout. I think that first spot was a little bit of a bust. It was close to the bridge. They do a lot of stocking really close to the bridges. So it's usually a fairly decent bet, but uh, it was very shallow. And uh, we're gonna go downstream and see if we can do a little bit better. But boy, was it gorgeous. One thing about stream fishing is you are guaranteed some very good scenery. Oh my goodness. I have some good scenery right here, actually. Check her out. That's some good scenery. it into there and just let it run right down into there. I just totally missed that one. She had one. She caught a nice, fairly nice trout. It would have been too small. It got stuck in the rocks. I went down to try to get it and those things are slimy. I could not get it. So we're going to give that a half a catch. It was so cool. It was so cool. It got stuck in the rocks. Maxine, you're hooked up. You're hooked up. I'm hooked up. <laughs> Bring it in. Come on. Yank it. What you got there? What happened? What happened? I got him. He bit my line and then he ate it and then I got him. Just drop him straight down. There you go. Hi. What are you doing down there? I, uh, I, I didn't fall, I promise. You didn't fall? No. You gotta be 
be aware that the the trout spook very easily so you can't touch the water you can't splash through the water you kind of have to sneak up from behind we're not really doing that today not with our girls all right i love my family they're actually amazing but i got to get away from them i want to go downstream a little bit then i'm going to work my way upstream and catch some of those pools that i saw i can't deal with this Put the bait right in that white water and just help it along into the flat along this deep pool right here. Go right there in the bra. You're putting the eggs right there? Yeah. Easy All to right. get. I have no issues. You have no shame? I have no shame. Our lack of success had anything to do with the fact that you were romping around in the stream? Definitely not. That That yes. is 100% not a factor in the amount of fish that we caught today. I can confidently say. But what do you think? Do you think the fact that they were tromping around in the water had anything to do with our lack of catching? The fish were screaming and running. No. Run for your life! No. Exactly. Run for your life! They don't know what they're doing. Here. I had to go back for some more trash. You always bring out your trash. All right, we're giving another place a try. You catch anything? No. <laughs> That's okay, because we're still going to make it happen, right, sweetheart? It's happening. It's happening. You feel good about it? I mean, the water's murky, but you still feel good about it, right? I feel good about it. You're at like pro level now, so, <laughs> you know. Okay, what do you got? What's happening? What's happening? I is, got a fish. Is it for real? It's for real. Bring it in. Show us. It's for real. It doesn't look like it's fighting very... Good Lord. <laughs> good Lord. This is an infant. It's an infant fish, yeah. It's a baby trout. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me grab him. It's still kind of cute. I mean, He's you know. He's super cute. Okay, chill it's out. It's better than catching the uh, coronavirus. That's, that is true. Oh, oh, be nice, be nice, be nice. I'm holding, I'm gentle. All right, let's be gentle. Let's throw him back. All right. He's super cute. But we got to let him go. <laughs> so let him go. See you, buddy. How are we doing over here? Getting nice and baited. What are you doing, Dad? There's a really nice ripple effect going right here. This whole pool is like an eddy. I'm putting it out there in the ripple, and I'm just basically I'm just maintaining the line, and I'm just helping the bait kind of skip along into this deep pool. And that's where all the fish are. They're just kind of hanging out, waiting for waiting for food. This is sort of like a trout buffet. We're having a good time. <laughs> This is literally what we do when we are doing what we do. Yeah, hanging out. We're not super serious anglers, but we know how to have a good time and we're serious about our having a good time. Okay, so we sort of bombed out. We didn't really catch anything more than those tiny little ones. They were still fun to catch, but we have to call it quits right now because we're going to dinner at the Stonefly. If time permits, we will do a little bit more fishing. Yes, we will. If not, we're just going to have to pick up where we left off tomorrow morning. There's not much to the rooms here, but quite honestly, for what we're doing, they're just spectacular. The place we're eating for dinner, you guys, is literally across the street. What do you guys think, right? Come on. I wish this would come. What are you doing? <laughs> So we had a great dinner. Instead of fishing, we are compromising and we're going for a nice walk around town. Kind of checking things out. It's literally a one pump gas station town. Some very quaint little houses here in Markleyville. Pretty much anytime we go anywhere, we always take note of the cool real estate that's in the area. Obviously it's because we sell real estate, but it's fascinating. 
This little town has some very eclectic houses. And some of them look like they're kind of little shimmy shacks and some of them look like they're worth a lot of money. This is kind of sad to see caged artwork. I like Markleyville. It's small, it's quaint, it's got everything you need, and it's super close to some great fishing. I'm so glad I brought my drone to capture footage like this. I'm just kidding, I'm standing on the edge of this cliff. Check this thing out. Whoa! We just thought it would be pretty cool to set up our own little cool vibe right by the river. We're creating our own ambiance. Oh yeah. Check us out. Well, good morning to you, YouTube friends. I am all alone here in the truck, my daughter's truck. They weren't really willing to come with me this morning. It's a little bit after 6 a.m. and uh, I'm going after that trout that we never really caught yesterday. Those little ones didn't count, so we're doing it again. And this time, unfortunately, we gotta do it alone. So I'm bringing you along with me. We'll see what happens. This place looks pretty cool. Check this out. does not suck to be out here in the cold with this view. So nice. It's not really the one I was dreaming about. But it's, it's something. I just got that last scene using my Osmo action on the rocks. Pretty cool. I kind of feel like I'm literally the only one out here right now. I don't see anyone else on the, on the banks. It's just me. I love this spot. It's a great little pool, but I think I'm gonna go downstream a little bit and uh, try a couple of pools I saw as I was driving up. It just seems a little bit slow right here. So far, this is probably one of the worst Markleyville Carson River trips I've ever taken. <laughs> I, I think most of it has to do with the fact that they had torrential rains for about five days in a row. They just stopped before we got here. And, um, you know, you can't truly do sight fishing when there's no fish to see. You can't see anything through this muddy water, and it's really muddy. So, Doing the best we can. We're still having a great time. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna try this area down here. It's not too far from where I just was. I'm not exactly sure how to get to it. Played here for about uh, 25 minutes or so. Got one bite, but that's not enough, so I'm moving on. It always cracks me up when I see people fishing in a stream like right against the road, but that's exactly what I'm doing right now. The main road is literally right there. But this pool, look at this pool behind me. It's super deep. There's some serious white water just ahead of it, so it could be good. Let's just see. All right, all right, I fished it for a while. It didn't do much for me. try to do is put four salmon eggs on a hook. It's just a single hook, but I try to end up with a diamond shape like this so it just looks like a cluster of eggs. gave up on fishing this morning. I'm really glad I did not. I'd say it paid off pretty good. This is going to be a delicious trout. Uh, started off as a really slow trip, but I'm really happy about this one. This is a little bit 
larger than the ones we usually catch. So I promised the girls I'd be back by nine o'clock, so I'm gonna go back and meet them at the hotel. They're gonna be bummed out they didn't come. But anyway, great trip all together. I can't stress enough, if you guys are into trout fishing and you wanna do a little stream fishing, you should try the Carson River. And you can stay in Markleyville, and there's a variety of techniques that work to catch fish like this. If you have any questions about how to find this place or how to fish this fishery, then uh, just hit me up in the comments below. Well, we are leaving Markleyville right now, and we're not very happy about it because we love this place, right, baby? Yeah, time to say goodbye. We gotta get home. We have to work. We gotta get back to the real world because up here it's like heaven. This is not the real world. <laughs> but, uh, Thanks for joining us. We had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. And uh, if you like content like this, random uploads, then consider subscribing. Either way, it's all right. We'll catch you on the next one.